Today we're going to be looking into a 35 unit apartment building for a 1031 exchange. Ben from New England, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and today, uh, <coughs> I'm breathing fire like a dragon. And what I'm doing today, folks, is I'm working with my man, Ben. Uh, ben, you and I, we're doing a three-pack together because you have this uh, <clears throat> 1031 exchange where you need to, you got to spend $1.1 million, right? You got to get $1.1 million worth of real estate here in the Cleveland market, okay? And of the three properties that we've got, you sent me two, and then I did one, right? So the first one, that was that 13 unit in Lakewood. That was the one that I liked the best. And you got two that you sent to me, and this is the first of the two and of the two you sent to me i do like this one uh better okay one four one four eight dash one four one five two superior road these are the superior hill apartments it's a 35 unit apartment building offered at 1.275 million being advertised at a 9.49 cap rate okay now <clears throat> i gotta say that uh, as far as how they come across their cap rate, uh, th my, my numbers are going to be like slightly different in how I did it, okay, based upon how they did it. Because I factored in a couple things, which it does not appear that they have factored in. But unfortunately, I do not have a complete line-by-line -line breakdown uh, of how they came to all of their expenses because what he did uh this the the listing agent right out of greenbridge real estate and first of all i've done other deals with this cat uh, this guy knows what he's doing and he usually provides pretty accurate performance here so i don't have any reason to believe uh that his annualized expenses are going to be wrong i think that's fairly accurate uh, but there's just a couple variations because I am going to factor in some upfront costs into your apartment building, okay? And the reason being is this this is the only one of the three buildings that uh, me and you are going to be looking at over this three-pack that requires upfront repairs, right? The first one in Lakewood, that was like totally renovated, okay? Again, of the three buildings, that's my favorite. This, probably my second favorite. This is the only one that's going to require some renovation, uh, but I do like this building quite a bit. And then the last building, the one I'm going to do next, admittedly, I'm not really <clears throat> too high on that one. I don't really like that building that much for you. Uh, I'm not saying it's totally horrible, but again, we'll save all that for that video. But this is definitely my second favorite, and the work you need to do is going to be a little bit uh, of extensive work, but it's going to be worth it, right? The reason we have to do work is this particular building, of those 35 units, only 28 of them are occupied. So as we continue to go down through his performa and through the things he is showing you, that is an estimated performa based upon all of those apartments being renovated. Now, <clears throat> we don't have a complete breakdown of every single thing in every apartment that needs to be done, but essentially... What we've got, we have a total of seven apartments that are completely vacant. And essentially for apartments like this, I need about $15,000, right? Some of them could come in a little bit less if they have been recently renovated. And all we need to do is go in there and do paint, uh, patching holes and painting. Like if they already have buffed hardwoods and they already have modern fixtures in the kitchens and the baths, we could do those units for less, right? But what I did is I factored in worst case scenario because I don't specifically know. We reached out to him to get a little bit more information on the building and what we've got thus far 
uh, is what you're going to see here in this video and what I'm going to talk about in this video, right? I don't have like actual line by line expenses. Uh, we're hoping we could eventually get those, but you know, I could only provide you an analysis on what I've been provided. So another thing there would be to see the condition of those units, but also too, <coughs> what you really want to do when you're going over the conditioner units is you really want to assess that after you get a third party home inspector in there anyway, right? Because you're still going to be getting like fluff and performance from sellers usually. But with what I'm doing, I worst case scenario it. I know for $15,000 a unit, I can go in there Get you new floors. Well, not new, but like if there's carpet in there, we would pull the carpet, buff the existing hardwoods, paint everything, patch and paint everything, one neutral color throughout, whitewash the trim, get you a vinyl floor that's going to match in the kitchen and the bath, and get you new modern fixtures in the kitchen and the bath. We're talking Home Depot Lowe's quality items, right? I can do that to every unit for 15 k So... Of those seven vacant units, the total cost to do that, of that worst case scenario, we'd be looking at $105,000 worth of repairs. And because of that, I'd want you to pay less uh, for this particular building than, than what they're offering, right? They're not offering it at a bad price. It's a fairly reasonable price. But I think we should be able to pick it up for $1.2 million. If we could pick it up for $1.2 million, then we're going to put in up front $105,000. That brings your total investment to one million three hundred five thousand and then what you're gonna get with that one million three hundred five thousand is going to be are you a lender if so holton wise is looking to partner with you if you're licensed in all 50 states go to holtonwise.com click the digital media tab to advertise on holton wise tv today right here which is what he's got written out which is three hundred and twenty thousand four hundred dollars of gross income and then as far as his expenses go right his expenses are fairly reasonable i think two hundred one thousand dollars is a fair reasonable expectation off of your gross income right most people when most people do back of the napkin math, which is essentially all I really have to go off of right here because I don't have a full line by line breakdown. But when people are doing back of the napkin math on apartment buildings, typically the rule of thumb is you're going to spend approximately half of your income operating your building. So what that is called, that is called the 50% uh, the rule. Now, if you did that, that would mean you'd only see an expense estimate here of 161000 And truth be told, the 50% rule is fairly accurate. Usually I see expenses running a little bit more when you actually break it down, usually 55 to like 62 63%. So the fact that the Greenbridge agent gave us an expense estimate of 201000 which is basically $40,000 higher than you see on a lot of these fluff performas, I'm confident to tell you right now, even though I haven't broken down the full list of numbers because I haven't been provided them just yet, I'm confident to tell you right now that I would assume this to be a fairly accurate number, fairly accurate representation to what this building would produce, right? So that NOI of 121.57, I'm going to guesstimate right now that is fairly accurate. Of course, we're going to need to do a little bit more due diligence. We're going to want to make this deal contingent on a third-party home inspection as well as our review of the actual financials to make sure it passes the sniff test. But from what I'm seeing thus far, this looks like a deal that we should probably move forward with. But at the price point of $1.2 million, because when you take that NOI, right, plus the $105,000 I'm anticipating we're going to need in additional expenses. That positions it at a 9-3 cap, which I think is a very fair cap for this. Now, the cap is a little bit uh, higher than the Lakewood cap because the Lakewood cap, number one, a little bit nicer neighborhood, better tenant base, and everything is totally done for you. Now, 
The next property that we're going to be talking about, that's the one I'm not so hot on. That's going to have a cap rate that's even higher than this. They're very close together. Uh, but if they were an apples to apples comparison, you would see this cap rate be lower. This is a nicer neighborhood than in the third one. Uh, but typically, with this neighborhood being a little bit nicer, we'd see caps below 9. Uh, but the reason I think you need to pick it up at 9 is because it is going to require the renovation of 7 units up front. So all things considered, if we can get it for the target price, I would say this is my second favorite of the three properties. So stay tuned uh, for your next video with the third property, and then we will get your feedback on all three properties as well as uh, your plan, what you'd like to do going forward. Everybody else, if you were on... Uh, Facebook or YouTube or you've been watching Holton Wise TV somewhere, one of the many places we publish it. Uh, if you came across this show and you are interested in investing in real estate, you're looking to get into a low-cost market. I mean, there's not many markets in the United States where you can pick up a 35-unit apartment building for only like one, two, one, three, right? You can't really do that most places. So if all this is something that interests you and you'd like an on-the-ground partner, somebody to be able to give you guys upfront analysis like I'm doing, as well as handle the property management, the maintenance, the construction for you after the fact, as well as represent you as a broker. I'm a licensed real estate broker. We are a licensed uh, general contractor. We are a licensed property management company, licensed insurance company, licensed title company, the whole nine, right? If you are looking for that type of assistance, uh, you can work with me in the same way Ben is by sending an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. We'll give you a call, walk you through everything. Or you can go to holtonwise.com, check out our FAQ. There is a link to sign up to be on the MLS Search and Analysis Show in the show notes below. And you could also go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, MLS Search and Analysis Show. That's, that's really where we get started, right? We'll get your wants, your needs, your situation, right? Like Ben's situation is he's got $1.1 million that he's got to use on a 1031 exchange, right? Your situation might be different, right? We, we work with investors who want to do single family homes in like the 25K range, all the way up to big dog deals like Ben's doing here. So uh, we'll come up with a personalized plan of attack for you if you so choose. And then we send you these videos privately. And then uh, after the deal's done, after the dust settles, we then release them publicly on Holton Wise TV for everybody else to get the opportunity to learn. So all those other folks that are just watching and they're not ready just yet, they just want to learn, you guys want to go ahead and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.